Good morning Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back if you are a, a faithful follower, a cyber babe and welcome if you're new. Um, just a couple of things my darlings, so please subscribe if you're new and hit the bell if you would like to be notified um, as I go live every day usually unless something comes in between and I give away free cards and there's also super chat and super stickers available. My website is up and running. It's not totally perfect yet, but um, finally it is here. So if you would like to have a scout around, then you'll find the address in the description box below this video. You can find all the information. The email address is there as well and the website and the donation button do you wish to donate it's greatly appreciated thank you very much my sweeties and everything that is donated of course goes back into the channel now this is your a, a reading for the 10th to the 16th libra and we have got valentine this week so happy valentine i'm using the wildwood tarot um deck and that is for Monday, Wednesday, th Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the overall energy. That's the card on the bottom of the deck. Then we've got the surround deck, the angel feather deck, the inspiration cards for Wayne Dwyer and the witch's oracle and of course the romance oracle. That said, let's begin with your reading. First of all, you have the Seven of Bows. The Seven of Bows is that you might feel you have to defend yourself, okay? This is beautiful. And it says clearance. In this deck, it is called clearance. So perhaps you have to defend yourself in order to clear something up or to clear something away. Um, you do, you, you, it usually is depicted with a man defending himself with a bow, okay, or a wand. So you can stand your ground, my darling, you are strong enough. Then we have the Three of Vessels, and that is the Three of Cups. It is celebration time. You might be celebrating uh, an, uh, an engagement party or uh, a wedding or something this week uh, because Valentine is on Friday. Although this is on Wednesday, the energy can flow throughout the week. Perhaps you might be celebrating that you've passed an exam or somebody's birthday. At the, on Friday, we, you have the Queen of Stones and that is the Queen of Pentacles, so she stands for fertility. She stands, so if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. She also stands for birth, birth of a job, a birth of a new project, a birth of a child. Perhaps you might find out you're pregnant if that is what you want on Wednesday, and then you will have, be celebrating. But if you have harvest, uh, if you have invested in something, it takes time to grow because that is what the Queen of Pentacles stands for. So it, she nurtures everything and so it grows and blossoms and then you can harvest. Then you have number 11 and that is the Woodward Man. The Woodward Man is the uh, justice card, um, not quite... Um, uh, I'm not really up to date yet with what everything means, but that is the justice card. He looks like the judge sitting on the throne. So the justice, perhaps you might feel out of balance. Um, uh, or if you are in a judicial situation, uh, justice will be done. You'll get what you deserve and so will they. So perhaps you are going to win something and you'll be celebrating this week. Perhaps you have invested in something and it didn't go the right way but it's been twigged. The truth has come out where it went wrong 
and you are celebrating for me. Or if you are feeling out of balance, something will become clear to you so that you can come back into balance. Then you have the page of errors. And that's the page of, of um, swords. And this is a wren. Like I said, something will become clear to you. And because usually uh, justice is depicted with the woman sitting there with scales and swords. The sword stands for clarity and honesty and justice, uh, wisdom. Um, so the wren, that is the page of swords, will be giving you news. You might be getting news through email or airmail or text message or by a phone call. Something will become clear. That is the overall energy um, this week. We've got the defending card. You feel as if you have to defend yourself. And we've got the judgment card. So it will become clear to the judge that you are in the right. And it will become clear. Wow. It could be something as simple as a parking ticket. Now we're going on to the surrender deck. Surrender denial. You can see there is a woman with a blindfold on. So she's not willing to see or you're not seeing something. So by the end of the week, you will surrender to denial. You will have taken that blindfold off in order to get clarity so that you can come back into balance. Accept people and situations exactly as they are, without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Wow. So in order to see what is really at hand, you have to take that blindfold off and see things for, as for what they are. Okay, my darling? And that means that you have to be willing to see the truth, to get it right. So if you, and this man is also a very wise man. He is high in status. He's a judge. So if you don't know something, or if you can't find the truth, then seek professional advice. Then we have the pink, the rose, rose angel feather. A blessing for your home. The angels have heard your invitation to be present in and around your home. They are about to bestow a blessing of love on your home and its occupants. Now you can eat pink fruits like strawberries and raspberries and red berries. And pink is also the heart chakra. And uh, the pink is also associate, associated with Archangel Shamuel. So if you need love, um, happiness, uh, a good feeling, then call upon Archangel Shamuel to help you and to clear your heart, to open up your heart, to see things for what they are. You can um, meditate on the colour, you can wear it and you can eat it. This will also help you getting less stressed and detox. For the inspiration card of Wayne Dyer, we have attract peace, not conflict. Wow, how awesome is that? With all the cards that are saying, see for what it is, get clarity, accept the way it is without denying it, so without looking through pink colour glasses. Vow to have fewer conflicts in your life. You came from no conflict, so you can return there and know heaven and earth, sorry, and know heaven on earth by refusing to have your inner world conflicted by any one at any time. Affirm over and over again. I attract peace, not 
conflict. That is what it says on the back of the card. So attract peace, not conflict. Go out into nature. Enjoy the, the rush of the wind. Just sit in a park and sit quietly and meditate on the pink or on not attracting conflict, but attracting peace. For the last, and remember, you can call upon Archangel Shamuel. And for the last card, my darlings, we have the Book of Shadows. So, um, and when I see this card, it automatically um, gives me an incense to um, tell you or suggest, give you a suggestion, keep a diary. When you sit quietly and you listen to the ideas that come into you, or you listen to your instincts, your intuitiveness, then write the ideas down. Perhaps that will help you to get clarity and to see things with an other perspective as well. Now, the Book of Shadows, that's usually like a diary from the witches. That's where they keep their recipes, their ideas, their experiences about their concoctions, their spells. I'm not a witch, but this is what the book says. And it's lo a, a lovely way of, and a realistic way of expressing what a book can mean and what it means to a witch. When the book appears in a reading, it is telling you that you are not paying enough attention to detail. Correct, because you're not seeing it the way it is. Look at the details. Write things down. Create new spells, new thoughts and ideas. There you go. What did I tell you? Fill your grimoire, your diary in other words. It's called the grimoire. It's a, like a French name, with your recipes for life. Be precise in your words, but don't share all the information you put in there. Not every aspect of your life should be an open book. That's very true. Wow, that is quite a lovely reading. Libra, now we're going on to your love card. Love yourself first, nurture yourself, because then you will be more attractive to the opposite party. Be the beacon, have no conflict, be peaceful, be gentle, watch your intonation and see how things really are, but not through pink colored glasses. Now your love card is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So let's recap, <coughs> recap the reading for you, Libra. You might feel as if you have to defend yourself. Justice is here, so something will become clear, as we also have the page of uh, swords. Okay, this could be a Gemini, a Libra, another Libra, or an Aquarian bringing you news or giving you news that will bring clarity to the whole situation. You might be in a little bit of strife, but you will celebrate. Perhaps the person that you could ask if you're younger, then you could always go back to the mother figure and ask for opinion or help with regards, a vision, a perspective on something. This could be on a job, this could be on an other sort of situation. Um, as the swords stand for clarity, wisdom and communication, perhaps you don't know, everybody doesn't, we all know we don't know everything, okay? So perhaps this is also the mother, go back to the mother. This could be, this is of stones, this could be a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. 
Perhaps you might be meeting a lady, the Queen of Stones, the Queen of Pentacles, this week as well. So, um, or she could be giving you advice. It could also be a mother figure. Look at things the way they are really are, not through pink color glasses. <clears throat> so surrender to denial. Don't deny. So don't make it prettier than what it is. See the truth. See it for what it is. Clarity. Okay. There will there the angels in the universe have heard your manifestations. So there will be a blessing in your house or your family today or this week. Again, attract peace and that is an incantation that you can use. And the book, keep a diary of your new ideas or your experiences. Your book doesn't have to be open to the world. So if you ask advice, do it with, uh, do it with somebody that you trust deeply. An other incantation that you can use or an affirmation <clears throat> to manifest your ideas is new thoughts and creations will not be ignored. They will come to mind and then they will be stored. In this magical book, your diary of course, that I keep by my side and then by its wisdom. I will always abide. Wow, wisdom, the word wisdom. And of course, your angel for the week is an archangel Shamiel. So open your heart and your solar plexus to be able to receive this beautiful love that's coming in or blessing that's coming your way. You've got pink here and you've got pink so, wear pink this week. I think that is also a message. Attract. Be the beacon. I love it, I love it. And I hope you do too. So, have a gorgeous week. Go to the website and have a scout around. There's different uh, readings on offer. And let me know what you think. And talking about pink, the website is Pink Clouds with Pink Orbs. And I think it is amazing. I love you all, take care and be blessed and have a brilliant week. Please share and like with family and friends and give us the thumbs up please, thank you.